namo tassa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhassa namo tassa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhassa namo tassa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhassa and a happy Visa Day. <laughs> Today, very special day for all the Buddhists. And also, I also feel very, very happy to see all of you. The enlightened day, also very, very beautiful day, isn't no? Yes. Yeah, so, it's very good that all the Buddhists really believe Sada, okay? The faith in the Buddha, the faith in the Dharma, the faith in the Sangha. Uh, as I said, all the Buddhists really need to do that. We need strong faith on the Buddha. Not only just uh, knowing on the Buddha, we also need to understand why we respect, why we believe him. We really trust him a lot because of his ability, the power of his compassion. Everybody knew about that, okay? It's great compassion and not easy to get. No, not easy to add. We can say that loving kindness, oh, you have so much love, a lot of love, and then come compassion. I said, oh, great compassion. It's only for the Buddha. So we can see the Maha Karuna, okay? Great compassion. Why we can say that? We can study about the historical, okay, history of his life. The Buddha. You know, already for us in Kia, okay? And then 100,000 aeons ago, he met the Bangla Buddha. The time, he's also a very good Parami. Parami is perfection, huh? very mature too. So he has psychic power. If he want to attend to the Arahant, easily he could attend the time. Because of, he fed it. He want to, he fed that all many people in the world, uh, all the universe, many universe people uh, or are suffering. So who had the river or are suffering, he fed that. How I should have to release our people's suffering. He had the thought, very beautiful thought uh, with compassion. He knew that if he, he can attend to the Arahant, he can stop. Or the, he could, and he didn't have any suffering for the future. He realized that, but that although he knew about that, he didn't want to be arahant at the time. He still can realize for the people. He still want to support for the people. How I can support? Then I must practice parami and a full favor of parami perfection for many many eons. He knew about that. Although although he knew he still. I make mean, his life, really, he like to offer for the people, for us. So many lifetimes, you all know, eh? suffering, suffering, suffering. So the time he listened, after listening, he could attain our hand. Okay, he let go of his beneficial. He trying to cut off for his uh, beneficial. Then he, he always, in his mind, the thought, oh, okay, I will try hard. <laughs> Not like a normal effort, very important effort. He need great effort also. So I have fulfilled ten parami for many years. Then, then he got a predation from that life, from the, the Buddha. Okay, after for Asankhya and then 100,000 aeons, and then you, he, the Buddha also predicted, you will be the Buddha, his name. That time your name will be Gautama Buddha. So he got it that. So he was so happy. So happy. Why he felt so happy? So all the time I can have, I mean, maybe I can have many people to be free from suffering. That's because of that, that, that only the reason, you know. <laughs> because he wanted to do for the others. That on this thing was so beautiful, then a great compassion. Then he having suffered, you know, already then me are not easy to practice. And uh, or, or, Always I talk about that then for me. Some people haven't listened to, already listened. But some meditator was new, so I explain a bit, okay? So the Tana generosity, you knew that. They're not easy to let go. 
our the we have to overcome by our uh, stingy we can say the stingy mind and generosity mind are uh, opposite. So if we think that whatever we own that like the house, the car, property, everything, family. And once in our mind that it's belong to me, and we had that concept, very difficult to let go. The one to share with other people cannot share. Your family, you cannot share. You cannot give easily to the other people. You want to give it. Always give it in our heart, it belong to us. This is for my family. Even the food that whatever you buy, the, all, all this only for my family. You are not easy to get neighbor easily. Maybe you get extra, then only you want to give. If not extra, you will keep it for your family. Understand? So, and then the Bodhisattva, if he had that, uh, okay, he had the food for one person and to eat for the, this little food. But he, if he see that someone is suffering and by hunger, so then after he, he, after he see about that person, he immediately he can let go and he could give easily for the suffering people. He want to have the kind of generosity. So he, in this way, so his practice is, is the highest. Uh, not the highest means uh, normal people are not easy to practice like him. His practice is very, very high. The power is different. So people cannot do what he can do it. And then people cannot let go what he could let go easily, that kind of feeling. So many lifetimes you can realize that. So many lifetimes he has been let go, let go, very rich, and also all the properties or everything, whatever. He didn't have any stingy mind. He didn't want to keep for himself. Always let go, let go for the other people who have suffered, who are really needed. So he really happy and that kind of borrow me. Even people want his wife. Can you offer your wife? So many lifetimes he did that night. Not easy. I don't think so you can deny your wife to the other people and your husband to the other people. So, but for the Bodhisattva, he did that. You know, he easily tried to love. Of course, you know, I want stay here. I had attachment on the family. Although attachment, he knew that all oh, this is was suitable to let go, he could let go, he can let go easily in this way. So very, very high level, you know, already three level of the practice. Some normal people can do basis one, easily can let go, but like our organs, our family, that kind of people, not easy to let go. But the Buddha did that, Bodhisattva did that, can, he could let go easily. Even his life, people want, he still can let go, so there is very high power. You know? Level is different from the normal people. That's why, and in this way, he tried very hard. Like every every profession, he did practice like a three level th until the third level, highest level, and then the quality is uh, different from ours. Like keeping on the preset, a preset, but for our normal people, easily can pray when you feel hungry. And today you had then the one day retreat. I don't know how many people will give you the eight preset. So then, oh, today in the morning until five o'clock, five p.m. finish. Then I will eat dinner. So your your eight preset only half day, not fully. That's why. So if you want to give the whole day, and then the next morning that is uh, hungry, never mind. I want to keep my preset. I want to control my mind. And uh, I don't follow my desire, desire to want to eat, I want to fulfill our body and worry, and all the worry I want to overcome by, with a strong determination, strong, uh, strong effort can do that. So all the profession, but me had to be joined together, all uh, support to each other, not only one. So, okay, I want to get the place, oh, hungry. Okay, okay, no, 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 we're trying. I don't want to bring my place, I will try. And then people want to get oh, out and I also can die like this. So when sometimes we are scared, people want to kill you. Do you want to stay quietly or you want to fight back with people? It is also important. So if we really fight back, that is also because of fear this way. So not easy to let go of our life. That is, but the Bodhisattva really did that in this way, three level of the practice of the uh, three strata stages of the giving of the precept. As well, renunciation, renunciation also the same. So, perfection are dana, sila, morality, 
and the renunciation, going the Lego family and went to the forest and ordained and uh, giving them or uh, eight percent at so the time. Before Buddha, they only give it eight percent, ten percent like they in the forest and they practice about concentration practice this. And then and number four is the wisdom, but number five is perfection or effort. Number six is perfection of the truthfulness, and perfection of the uh, the metta, uh, loving kindness, and the perfection of patience, kindly. It's also very important. And determination, and number 10 is the equanimity. All are very important for the meditator also, not only for the Buddha. Even for the normal people, normal meditator also very important to practice that. Because without renunciation, if you don't let go of family, oh, I just want to be with family. <sighs> not easy to cut attachment, you know already. Okay, this year, I will, I will stop my attachment. I will go one month retreat to Myanmar, to Sianli Place, or anywhere at the meditation center. If you can arrange that, uh, there is a pronunciation. You are temporarily can cover your attachment to the family and also your properties in this way. So in this way, we are trying to do this. And then the renunciation also, the highest renunciation, and also the lowest one, okay. Okay, never mind, half of the day, I try not, uh, not, I will try to not to think about the family, not to think about business. I want to meditate half a day. There's also renunciation. Then there's the first level, okay? You don't think about family. Then, the next level, okay, I will go for one, one day retreat, the whole day I will meditate, day and night I will get the present. Also very beautiful. Uh, the highest one, yeah, okay, I will renounce, okay? I want to ordain, I will stay in the monastery forever, until I die. <laughs> that is the highest part of me, okay? The highest renunciation. I want you all to do like this, okay? Uh, we have meditation center, so you're, we are very welcome you, okay? So the kind of organization, not easy to let go. The nuns, monks, and uh, monastery life are not easy. But it's people they like to practice. It's, it's good for me also because they are very, very good for me in this way. So the Bodhisattva also did many times. So effort, oh, I will meditate. I want to practice until I'm successful. I like Bodhisattva, you see. And then the Bodhi tree, he did meditate. You all know already, you know, in the forest also six years suffering a lot. And he tried so hard, no one can try like him. So much effort. We can see that. And uh, for us, oh, sleepy. Oh, I don't want, maybe tomorrow I will continue. Today I want to sleep. Ha, huh. time's right. Oh, I don't want to continue. I have time's right already. I will go back to the room and sleep like this. But the uh, body said, uh, the last day, you all know that, you know, under the body tree, he did me. Oh, he had very strong determination. I will meditate and the enlightened. And I really, and I really can see the truth. If without understanding the truth, I don't want, I don't want, you know, so I don't want to uh, wake up like this. And the kind of determination, very strong determination and strong effort. And because of that, he has highest for me, highest wisdom arise, you know. All our communication, you know, we communicate to each other. And also pain, a little bit of pain didn't go. Well. We are pain a little bit, oh, we worry that all my we broken my leg or whatever. That's why, you know, we always like to change position. But the, the who are really want concentration, <sighs> broken on my leg, never mind. I will try and be successful. I don't want to move my position. And then I gotta control, control, you know, controlling on my mind to get more effort and also the anti get stable. So in this way, so the practice there was different from normal people. Yeah, you know, certain I meditate, meditate, and they and I tend to it's very amazing and also really you can we can respect about that how he did for his practice. So not easy. And then also patient people fight him also. All the Maras come and attack him, fight with him also. He had uh, uh, metta and uh, compassion and can, can forgive what people had done to him. And even uh, his student and five or student also depart from him and he was alone. After they left, he was uh, alone. Uh, he didn't have any anger on that fight because why they did to me like this? Why uh, in the beginning they are very kind? Why 
I know uh, they did it. Uh, I'm, he didn't have any anger thought. So he still can forgive and he trying to understand and, and understood to, about their feeling because uh, they, they also, uh, they, after enlightened, he was really looking for them. Uh, he want to give the, really the taste of Dharma. He want to share the Dharma. He is the first group of the Bhikkhu Yonyu Arai. After enlightened, he went to the Buddha Gaya, uh, sorry, to the Migrawan forest and uh, they found them, then after that he preached the Dharma, Dhamma Chaka Pautana Sutta, because he wanted to return the gratitude. So good people are always like to think about people's goodness, never think about negative, relative, and unhappy, unhappy thought. And uh, that's kind of, if you think about negative on that, the, the, the mind cannot be happy, you will get angry easily, unwholesome will occur to you. That is very dangerous for us. So the Bodhisattva always think about positive to the people, always gratitude. Although they left, he didn't see why they did to me, why did they, they have that, that thought, they, the kind of thought, when he didn't have that thought. He still can forgive and he still trying to understand. And also, he also could realize about the, the gratitude to them, that what they had done before, uh, how they served him, that's why he still could realize and also gratitude. That's why he was, uh, he didn't have any anger feeling in his mind. So with patience, when people done to him, uh, good or bad, uh, he still can accept it you know, without hatred. In this way, so we can respect many things. Patience is, we also can see in our daily practice, everybody has, we have sometimes good in good condition, you know, good condition. Every day you can check in yourself. After early in the morning when you wake up, you contact with an external object. You have to listen to the song when someone talking to you. Or you have to contact your eyes with your family member, you know, your, your husband, your wife, or your children. See what you need to contact with them, you need to associate with them. So nowadays, how oh, my mind is really happy or not happy with them. Also, we can chat about that. And then if someone is upset or against you or criticize you, and then didn't listen uh, you for how you feel. You just realize yourself, you know, how about your feeling? And you, if they were not listening to you, you are really happy or not happy? <laughs> Angry or can forgive easily? And still you can understand to them or can cannot let go about their idea and, and you, your idea, you can, you can communicate. So sometimes you can communicate, sometimes you can't. If you cannot communicate, easily get unhappy feeling will arise to you. You. So we can check ourselves. If you really can accept it, whatever people have done to you, good or bad, you, you with a peaceful feeling, you try to understand them, or oh, maybe now they don't know, then maybe in the future they might know, then it kind of understanding, make it understanding the feeling and the thought, that will be peaceful. You will get peaceful feeling in your mind. Your own people, oh, like, why they do that? We always angry, angry, angry. The whole day angry. It's just very bad. No good for us. So this also metta and patient. Patient is a really country, you know, they join together. Who had a lot of country mind, then they, uh, so the kind of people in the mind, the metta feeling easy can arise. You know, metta energy easily can arise to you. It's a, it, it always a negative thought and always think about unhappy thought. The kind of people was very difficult to practice for metta. So we can see the Buddha practice, did mention in 10 parami, kanti, patient, perfection or patient, perfection or loving kindness, metta. Communicate, can communicate. Once you break, other is easily, not easy to practice again. So when you are successful, you will support for the next one and the next practice. So in this way, we can check yeah, slowly. So then meditation and not just sitting and going, to, oh, I will go for meditation retreat, 10 days retreat. I will meditate in the meditation center. Then you are very happy in the beginning. So when you arrive in the meditation center, I also can realize that many of my students, when they come here for one month retreat, in the beginning, one or two days, they have so happy feeling I found that oh, they have so much energy and very and I, I kind of we can say I want to try this year and this is a that kind of thought with them 
So after staying one week, two weeks in meditation, really, really progress, and their mind not happy. <laughs> so many wondering were coming, and so many uh, talking to each other. You know, the beginning they follow the word silent. After one week, cannot concentrate. They start to talk, 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 and relax, relax. Then the concentration and not enough patience and not enough uh, effort will happen. So okay, we can see. They, they come link to each other, supporting to come out to each other, like the, we call the patana, you know, and supporting cause. Also, we can find in the practice in this way. So, we need a lot of patience for loving kindness. If you have patience, whatever people have done to you with wisdom, wisdom and right and you think about always positive and right and as trying to understand people's mind. Oh, no one is perfect. People tell you, what well, no one is perfect. I also know perfect. <laughs> Easy. Easily can let go so we don't deceive people mistake, okay? So in this way we train, train, train slowly, slowly. The Buddha also no he went to be a Buddha and they cannot practice in one lifetime. Many, many lifetimes he had to change, he had to train, train, train and they Train the beginning is not easy to be a military uh, uh, 100 percent want to be successful, not easy. So train this life, the next life, one aeon, next aeon, and slowly, slowly, uh, after training, after training, by training, you can see the, the character, they will change, slowly, slowly become used to it. In the beginning, it's not easy to change. And person, you ask them to practice meta, become like a meta person, very difficult, you know, immediately want to change, difficult. When you are really angry, angry time, people ask you, oh, you should say meta. Not easy immediately. If you practice every day, every day in your heart is really you have kind of heart uh, softness. And although people blow you, they throw you uh, with the anger thought, and then although you, you know that people are really angry and score you there, but we still you still can accept it. Oh, no feeling, no angry. You still can can accept a peaceful mind. And that is successful. The kind of mind is good. That is what we call a patient. And because of that patient, uh, Benya, Meta, you know, the Benya, understanding arise, understanding about uh, who is she, why I had to uh, angry with her, who is she? She is skeleton, she is 32 part, she is only Namarupa. So if you think about Namarupa, who you want to angry? If you can see what they are, 32 part, this is not your friend, this is not your family. It is a nature of only 32 part. In this way, we can cut off our attachment or our anger thought can break down. If we can break down for the object or the everything break down, not he, not she, not that person, that is wisdom. So in the end, we have nothing to angry. <laughs> we don't need to angry to anybody. No more. No, nobody like this. In this way, the Buddha encourage us to practice in this way. So then easily we can control. So after that, we can control our mind to get wholesome and wholesome and always can be a peaceful. So all we can understand about Lokha Dhamma, oh, what kind of Lokha Dhamma come? Okay, you are not feeling that unhappy or angry, worrying, all can let go in this way. So that the Buddha did practice for them, for me, so, so many aeons. So there is also predation, he got a predation, the day also, there is a in line, that there is the Buddha day, we can see that very, very good, and a very special day. And then after that, he was born the first day in the Lomini. There is also the Buddha day, we can see that. And he, he had a, you know, that the background is very good, the kingdom, royal kingdom, and the family. So everything was perfect for him. You know, whatever he went, oh, I'm ready. So, but because of the parami, parami mature, so he could see that the four sign you all know already, the four sign that. And then as, as uh, old people, sick people, and die, and also bhikkhu, four sign, four kind of person he saw. After he saw, he all the parami mature. He, he went to let go, he did oh, I should let go my family. I need to practice. There is also wisdom, power of wisdom and parami to all oh, mature time is no one can block. No one even if he got the son Rahula, 
Then although the, uh, the, pa the parents were sure loved the children, not easy to let go, but he stayed trying to let go of his uh, attachment to the family. Then he went to the forest and meditated for many years, you know, you all knew about the six years. So practice in the forest also same. So how suffer, you know, that the very different condition. At home in the, at the palace, you know, already so luxury, Everything was so good, but in the forest, don't have proper bedding, don't have the good, uh, the nice food, and then he had to struggle about the changing of his condition and life. If normal people, after I stay one week, they she will go back home. You know? <laughs> she will go back to the family. But for him, because of strong determination and strong, and then the really effort, that's why I made that. Oh no, for the Buddha who, although suffering, I was still trying in this way. In this way, he tried. After trying that, you all knew about that. The last day of his practice, also you can see that trying under, uh, under the Buddha tree, and then he was enlightened. He practiced it in the beginning of the earlier part of the night. So he had been practicing the, the concentration practice, he trying to realize again, and also he trying to make it the balance, the Nova Epopa practice, okay? And so the middle way, he realized himself, why I didn't, I didn't, improve, didn't improve my practice, because uh, he had been practiced very extremely, putting too much effort. That's why he didn't feel about the peaceful mind in his practice. He didn't feel balanced. Then after that, he started to realize back again about the childhood time about Anapanasati, how he did practice, how to, he got the feeling, the peaceful feeling from the first jhana. After that, he knew that that must be the right method for him. Uh, I, must, uh, I must practice again. Then he did practice about Anapanasati. And so, so after Anapana's concentration, he did practice vipassana, dependent on the generation. So the beginning, earlier part of the night, he could see all the, his past life. We call the Bobe Niwasa. All kinds of past life, it, uh, not only just seeing, but the image. He also realized about the cause and effect. The cause and effect are very important. So we link with the karma, okay? Why I got it the kind of life the last time I did explain about that dependent origination. So then he did try very hard, very detailed practice. One life he saw about that. In this life, what kinds of hobby, what kinds of character, what kinds of practice, and what kinds of meditation object in one life. All he could realize that. After realizing day by day, day by day, so then and then and then the last day of his life going, going down, going down, and did the mother wounds. And then from that day, and then, okay, you are, if he is 80 years old, the first day he might saw about nearly die moment. So then uh, before that consciousness, you know, he saw, he might saw lying position or any kind of position. Some people sitting position, also meditate, meditate. After doing meditation, sitting also can die. Any position when he see, after he saw that, he will, he could realize about why, why this kind of life I got it, why sometimes happy, sometimes unhappy be in this lifetime. No one is perfect. Even Bodhisattva also suffering a lot. Even Bodhisattva also can make mistakes. <laughs> so, so that's why some, uh, so the time he also could, he had to realize himself why I had the kind of suffering in life, why I got back pain, you know. He also can, could contemplate that, oh, one of the lifetime he had done bad karma to the other people. <laughs> Then they come out and back to me. So the kind of co the cause and effect, every, everybody had that. We also had that, all that the cause and effect. So the Buddha, Bodhisattva were all realizing, realizing, but, all, but his uh, barami and his power, concentration power, very, very strong. So not for the normal people, want to see one life, two life, or then they need to take a long time, you know, they want to pick up concentration and walk, watch, and they, and they went to see the bus, they really need to put effort and wait, 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 and they really come out, you know. But for the body sector, because of his body concentration, for general concentration, very strong. That's why that one is supporting him, that could see very clearly and very fast. Once he think about that, and the answer was there. The answer, we don't need to wait so long, and uh, not like us, you know, we had to wait long, and we had to see the picture long. 
they is for normal people. But for the body center, why well, he went to see, immediately appear, immediately appear, not only appear the way of the picture, if the picture appear, the cause and the effect of the imaginary picture appear with the picture together in his mind. That is wisdom, different from normal people. For us, uh, normal people, you will see the, you try so hard to see about realizing and for the scene to see about past night. And we have to do with personal divinity until childhood. And in the modern world, the first day of modern we had to do with personal again, 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 again. And then we fought the Bawanga. So when we got a Bawanga sleeping mind, dropping time, only the picture come out. So the picture come out immediately. We don't know why is the cause and effect. Why do we, we kind of decide our picture? We don't know yet. You know, we still need to break down again on this picture. We still need to double confirm this is correct or not. Imagination or really past or not. We have to check again. Then after clear on it, we still need to go back to look at it again. And then what cause the cause and effect about that in this way. So for the Buddha, Bodhisattva, just think about that. The image appears at the same time. When the image and the wisdom, the, the understanding will try coming to him. Imagery, imagery is so very fast. You know, very fast. You could see many, many what within you can see that in the beginning of the day, uh, earlier part he could see many past like within short time, every within few hours time, okay? Why within this short time now he could see many aeons of past life? Understand? Not easy for normal people, I cannot see. So why? How he see? How he saw about his past life? I want to say that. Once he contemplated the appear picture at the same time, the answer was there in his mind. Then the next one said, every day, every day, the cause and effect are there. So very fast. One picture appear, image like a, like a shadow like this only. So any shadow is very clear for him also. And here, and then knowing a cause, oh, I suffer because of that. I suffer that, oh, what do, I got this picture, do what picture. And at the same time, his karma uh, for this Dewa life, his previous karma, like Dana, Dana picture appear with this Dewa form, understand? So that is too fast for him, not like us, you know, very fast, very fast. The image, the image and the answer was there. Understand? So that's why within short time he could see many aeons of the past life. That is his psychic power. He attains psychic power. Only psychic power only can do it fast and also can see the past of, and the, the relatives, the place where he lived and the cause immediately all he could understand by the psychic power. For the normal people are not easy. Normal fortune, when you know all the cause effect is not easy. Not only that. He also could see other people's past life, other people's cause and effect also. And the person, he, uh, he wanted to see that. Oh, immediately he will see it, the image. At the same time, the person's past life. If he want to know the person's past life, he could see at the same time you know, with the picture. If he intention, oh, I want to see, but you know, how about his future? Think about his future. He, the picture and the future, what he doing, what, what, what will happen? Oh, appear. That's why it's easier for him to teach to the other people, you know, because he could see everything clearly. So the person, okay, within seven days, then the person will die. He saw in his mind. So then he knew that, then he wanted to help the person get free from suffering or for him to get a good river like this. You all knew about that, okay? I don't explain very detail. So that is a part of wisdom. His wisdom, uh, like us, very difficult because. Uh, not easy to see like him, so what will happen on you? you know? So sometimes meditator asks me, Sally, how about my future? Do you know my future life? They told me, Sally, do you know my past life? Can you tell us that? I oh, you build up concentration. Next time you have concentration, you will see clearly, okay? That will be true. If I tell you sometimes I'm not true because I'm not Buddha. <laughs> I'm not Buddha. If I tell you, maybe I'm not sure I'm correct or not. That's why I just encourage that you have to try hard and then you get a concentration. Then you will see the, like the, you see the Buddha, oh, he could realize that. So after he saw by his all the past life, the cause and effect, the cause and effect, I will finish. And then he tried to realize again, like at the time he could attain, but the second, the second, the second one is a, a Deva eyes. Deva eyes to look at it, that will be very, this kind of, Psychic power is supporting and then if you want to see others, easily he could see. And the person, he think about the person, then the person and the 
why he, in his mind, I want to see his past life. At the same time, the person face and the picture, knowing all his uh, past costs appear together. If future he wants to know what will happen, the future, the thought is all coming to him in the house with the Richard the picture together in his mind, or in this way. So he could realize and also want to spread. No, one by one, how to practice the whole in the day. Even one country got so many people, you know? And also one country or many countries, one universe, so many, so many countries, so many people. How we had, if we go one by one, there was no non stop many years, you know, cannot finish. So the Buddha did the psychic power to realize that determination and power. So he did determination. I want to see. So he had to, the mind need to spread out, spread out. That's why he need meta power. So many lifetimes he did practice loving kindness meditation. He knew how to practice or spread the metta all over the world, all the beings, different kinds of beings. At the same time, if he want to see, he could see all the people at the same time, at the same time. How? Spread out, spread out. The mind need to spread out to everywhere, you know, like casino meditation. Casino meditation, the day I did explain that, the white casino meditation. When the white casino meditation and you got the white color, we had to spread every direction. Every direction, everywhere, no tree, no house, no building, nobody. Even uh, the meditator who practiced about the white casino, the person body also were lost. If you practice, your body also were lost. In the air, only very spacious and also boundless feeling of the white color only we see in this way. So the mind can spread very fast when this short time, based on your concentration too. With this short time, you can spread every direction. So you will feel about the mind also very relaxed and you can feel about the, the boundless feeling. At the same time, you want how, but power, how much you can spread in this power. If you can spread a lot, it is so your mind power is becoming bigger and bigger like this by concentration. And some people cannot spread too much, only just a little bit. So that is also based on the parami. So for the seeing what the other people past life and not to the others. Others, if you want to see the devotee way to it, determination, okay. Okay, in this country, the whole Myanmar, all the Myanmar people, I want to see where do determination. So after determination, he just spread his sense of compassion or like this, you know, that the kind of entering about four jhana, one, like a casino, like this, entering the jhana. So after jhana, we appear all. Oh. So and from there, appear like a bubble. So when you boil the rice, Many baba water is you one in one in time. Many baba coming up like this. You might have that experience. So po, 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 all the water is one in time. You will see baba come out. Same as that. So when you want to see overall, you spread out everywhere. So from everywhere, all the people were coming up to you. So the animals, some the people, many people were coming in different religions also. So when people are coming out the time on this picture. The image and the cause in the mind, the cause and the effect of the mind also connecting. All can communicate at the same time. Can you believe that? In this way. So all the mind can catch it everywhere. So because of that, very fast, very fast, you could realize and the many universe, you know. Everybody he understood that. Overall also, no need to be one by one. Overall he knew that like animal nature, the nature of animal. He could understand in between the human, human nature, or the kind of or the kind of group are all oh, anger types. Huh? From the face, can see also ah, oh, great type of person. Or the once appear, but many people, many people might also appear at the same time. That's why easier. And then the cause and effect also appear at the same time. So very fast, he could attain the second, the, the second psychic power. Deeper eyes to realize for all universe, uh, the whole universe, uh, whoever still living there. So he could understand about the, the nature, he could understand about the cause and effect about people karma. Why people are suffering in the hell, many people? Because of they had the bad karma, uh, breaking the prison. He knew about that. He could see it because of their karma what they had done in the past. And many people in the heaven, they had a very luxury life, very good life, very comfortable life. After he saw that, he knew immediately about the picture that they were doing, but Dana or Sila or what, at the same time. So he could realize it. Within a short time, he could understand why people are like this different level. 
to run condition, to run cost effect. So the wisdom arises more and more. And himself also just going and internal, external, he had to do cutting our attachment. Sometimes we do ourselves, but we don't cut attachment to the other, others, also problem. So we also need, still need to cut external people. So external, that's why we need to know. But external people also, other people also, same, <laughs> come and go, come and go. Same, ours also, come and go, come and go. In the end, you go have and see again. Short time only, you come and see, break down again. So one life finish, understand? Oh, you may picture a beer again. See what the karma and break down again, far, very fast. So in the end, the mind, you can see the process of the mind. People are only short time. Come and go, come and go, come and go, very fast, very fast. And the cause and effect also very fast, come and go, come and go. So many life you see there, so many life are like this. Only short time, short time, come and be here and disappear, be here and disappear only. So life are very impermanent. Only short time, short time, only we are feeling. Now you think that 60 years old, so long like that you will feel that. After you see well, many, many past life, after you understand what the cause and effect many, many times, many rebel, after seeing that, oh, very short, very short, come and go, come and go on it. And a good or bad, good or bad picture also, that cause, come on, come on, come on, come on, come and go on it. So after seeing that, Slowly, slowly, what happened? In the future, you think about the future, what will happen? So future will happen like that, you get attachment. Oh, the desire I create, okay, you will know already, okay, where I want to be, this is a problem. Where I want to, they were, you mean? Eh, it's such a wrong view, Buddha already said that. So we went again, we went again, we try again, come up, be up again, you know, dana, oh, dana, dana. Oh, I want to go, then I want to get good life again, good family again, oh, the attachment again. Then after that, you got the life and rebirth again. So after seeing, seeing that, oh, no, no, no. Then after, after many lives, you, you can see for many lives of our past and the future, then you will start to feel the scaring, scaring feeling. Because in your thought process of the mind, people are only short time, come and go, come and go, come and go. You know, you don't feel comfortable in your life. Where the luxury time, no time, very fast. It's a wisdom arise. When your economy is very, very fast, so many life, you can see so many life, and also life are very short time only, very fast, go and come and go. So after seeing, you scared. In your mind, really scared to see the people, the mind. One mind can create one life, you know, can create one attachment, can create one life, revert like this. After seeing about that, where you want to be, Oh, I don't want any river like a scaling feeling really arise to you. Then uh, Bodhisattva also practice like this. So after midnight, using psychic power to look at uh, the eye, devil eyes, to look at his many other his past life, seeing about the cause and effect, seeing about rupa arising, nama arising, and impermanence of the nonsense. After that, he looked at other people again, other, other living beings again, after unseen being again. After that, he see, after that he also realized what their past and future the cause and effect. So he did practice dependent origination at midnight. Then after that, early in the morning, all the attachment, he really stopped it. He didn't have any idea about next river I want to go or where I want to be. All that the roof of attachment, Loba, Dosa, Moha, you all know already, he was totally cut off. You know? He didn't have any attachment for himself. He didn't have any attachment for the others. So he, 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 it is in the end, really go to the emptiness. Really want to, don't want to get any, by any attachment, fully by any attachment. He, went, he was really released from the suffering. Then after the release from suffering, he attained to the manga and fala fruit and you know, duration. And then so after that, he was uh, attending attainment of sensation, attend and enjoying about that. Then the peace of Nibbana he attained. And then, after he attended about the peace of Nibbana, uh, the taste of the Dharma, taste of the no attachment is very, very good. Can feel that. So you always can, you also can feel in the future. You meditate and then once you practice and then Nama Rupa, dependent on the generation, Vipassana, and then, then they really can see but like just now what I did is when rising and passing, rising and passing, in the end you are scared to uh, continue with attachment. 
So once you enter the manga and fala, heart and fruits, so then you understood, you will understand slowly how peaceful you are in your, how peaceful in your mind. And uh, without attachment, uh, with attachment, something with you, you can get happy, the kind of happy feeling, and you can compare with that kind of nothing, without anything. So the emptiness also, how you can get happy feeling, <laughs> peaceful feeling, to entering or knowing about the peace and nothingness. So you slowly, you can absorb, you can do absorption, attainment or sensation. After attainment or sensation, a much less sensation, you are totally released. You know, you are feeling very, very different. <laughs> different from the normal day and after enlightenment. So the enlightened people are totally different from the normal normal people. Normal people is not enlightened. So that is uh, after you practice only you will be you will be successful. You can understand more about the taste of the Dharma. Only the study also not enough. You have been studying for a long time, you know that. You knew that the four noble true, you know, noble eight proper practice. You knew about the dependent origination, jhana, all have a Dhamma knowledge, all of you have Dhamma knowledge. If I, although dhamma, a lot of Dhamma knowledge, if you don't meditate, you don't really feel, you know, you don't see about the taste of jhana, concentration, and you don't really see about why the cause and effect about the dependent origination. And uh, because of that, where I shall cut, we don't know. So when we understand about many things, about many past and future, oh, because of that mind, attachment mind, then I got this rebel, rebel, rebel again. So the cause, we did the root, we really can find out. Can take out. When we know already what this is the root, we not only cut food out and then so you will be free from something in this way. So our body sata also the same. And the body tree, he also can enlighten that day. Also, we can say that the like the day Buddha did. So after that, he did continuously do, but after he enlightened, he also preached about that and the history of the Buddha life. This one, also Buddha day, we can say that. And then the last day, the last day of his life, and the Kushina, you all knew about that, you know. Uh, the, the, the end of the suffering. <laughs> it's really the end of suffering. Although he attained the arahant, not yet stopped the suffering, stay at the body. Who had the body and the mind stay arahant, also stay physical pain can uh, cause him. So then so he stayed. Uh, the last day he, after he passed away, then he was really entered to the brain nibbana. So entered to the brain nibbana, really pure, pure life. You know, no more attach, no more attachment, and no more defilement, and no more suffering. Suffering and no more river. Okay, if you have river, you will get suffering again because uh, the mind, the mind always make us suffering. The mind will control everything. The mind will demanding. I want this, I want that, you should do that, you should, you should, we need this and we need that. Oh, but in the mind, the mind always pulling us. Sometimes good, sometimes no good. And then we have to protect our mind sometimes. We have to watch carefully. All the Buddhists understand about the karma and the cause and effect, how to be mindful, not to go to unwholesome. Day by day we have been trying, but not easy. Stay in trying, not easy. Also, we still need to try and can't let go. The more you let go, the more you will get suffering, the more you will get mistake. Uh, without mindfulness, so very, very typical. That's why our mind still carefully need to watch the mind and not to fall to the unwholesome thought, speech, and action every day. So, we also the same. Although we are the nuns, we are Siali, and all those Siali, if we don't control, so easily can make mistakes, you know, speech, action, or whatever. You know. That's why always we have to remind ourselves you know, how we, the, the, the thought is not correct when coming in, and who's coming in, immediately have to stop. Oh, no, supposed to do that. Don't think like this. Way. And people tell you, people are going to criticize, oh, why I had to suffer this? Why I had to bring you? I should not bring myself. You know, what is it? I need to understand more. What we better us uh, correct or not, that we know ourselves. So if we are not correct, uh, we have to change. Had to change. We have to gratitude what people have done uh, for us. We must speak to us because of that. We can realize ourselves. If not, we are very difficult to uh, know our uh, our mistake. We don't want to look at ourselves. 
the is a problem. So when people tell us, remind us, oh, we feel very, very happy and we feel very gratitude that people have remind, who have remind us. In this way, we really need to learn the Dharma and protest. So, so the Buddha day is very, very special day. So we can see under the Buddha tree, so he was really cut off his attachment, all the attachment. How he had cut attachment, we know already. We need to practice Vipassana. You know, we was not having explained many times. We had to break down and they really break down about this is not mine, this is not my body, only Nama Rupa, only Tati Tupa. Many times I have been explained. Although explain we sometimes we don't want to listen, or we still think that this is my my family. Stay very attached. So but that's why we really need to meditate. When meditate only we really can cut uh, we support the kind of perception is really and uh, after meditation, the meditation always with you, and they're uh, familiar with you, and uh, close to you because of the all the the mind will think we always uh, a little bit have or think with them, uh, think with them knowledge. So the the knowledge will really can help us and can control because uh, in the mind has uh, that knowledge and the thought. And uh, unwholesome and not easy to attack. And wrong thought is not easy to come in and disturb you. And uh, if not, always your mind is uh, like uh, our mind, sometimes like a rubbish, you know, everything like a rubbish being like that, everything throw, throw, throw. Very difficult to, very difficult to come back to the right because we will follow each. That's why we still need to realize that always need to take care of our mind. Always need to prepare our mind to be ready to go over wholesome, how much I can collect wholesome today, wholesome mind. You need to collect a, bit, a little bit, how much, okay, today I have good thought to the people. I have metta to the people, to my family, myself. I don't have much angry. This metta, loving kind. Not only just free from danger, free from metta, not only this. This is not enough. This is like a chanting. Metta practice is daily that we need to check ourselves how much I have angry today. If I have angry, ah, oh, yes, it's a loss. So I can control my anger. I didn't have angry mind. I have metta to myself. Five minutes. Trying to be happy for that five minutes. Then after that, how about others? I treat to the people nicely or unpleasantly. So we also can check ourselves. Can to recall every day before you sleep. When you're lying on the bed, don't think about any other thing. Just think for yourself. Concentrate on your mind. Concentrate on your intention. That what kinds of mind we made the whole day? This is very important for the practice because we are getting old. <laughs> because we are getting old, we don't now we don't need to concentrate so much on the education or business. All of you have bases, you know. Some auntie you see, 60, 70 from Australia. Huh? I see that all of my Dhamma brother and sister. Huh? Over 60, over nearly 70, you know. <laughs> so we can see that. So we are getting old. We are getting me also very soon. I guess 60, you know, the day, two days ago, I was 58, you know, coming to now 59. Very fast, very fast, you know. That's why we really need to prepare, you know, not to get unhappy feeling. And day by day, how much I have met done to the other people. We check before we, we sleep, lying on the bed at the time, we check. Oh, I have said, I have met that feeling. I thought, I, today I met my friend. When I met my friend, what kinds of mind with my friend, the mind I, I have um, communicated with my friend, we met that? or with angry, or with jealousy, or uh, oh, after I see her, I want to support her, I want to give it to her something, I want to give, I want to support her about his family. You think about positive, positive, you know, how I can help it, but ah, uh, this is good. You collect, you have to check like this. Then this is a very important, because we have to, you are not, not renounced person, you are not in the monastery. Even we also need to do that, even we live in a monastery. Don't think that monastery people are perfect. Monastery people also a lot of problems. So competition and fighting also stay half in the monastery. We still need to check also. So for you also the same. You have to associate your family, you have to associate your friends, many people every day. So when you communicate with people, so after communication, 
night time, you check, okay? Wow, I, today I met my friend. After I met, I'm really happy, you know, because of his business. Very good. Yeah, you know, understand? Because he had good condition, we are happy. Oh, he suffered because his family got sick, he was suffering. Oh, how I should help, friend. My friend has suffering. I also suffering now. I, I want to help him. Even I can get one packet of noodle. Noodle is not so important, but an intention to show that loving kindness. You give something, maybe one bottle of water, okay, you done that to your friend. Oh, you should take, you know, you should take more water, you should, you should take care of yourself. And in this way, you need to show the kindness, loving kindness and supporting energy. This is meta also. So we need to try, oh, this is not my business, this is his family problem. I don't care, don't think that way. You just take it in this way, so then they make it more positive feeling to the other people and also more happy feeling on yourself and your positive thought in your mind. Every day, every day we need to promote, you know, promote increase, increase increasing. After that only, your mind will be more pure. Pure mind is very clear. Anytime you check, you don't see about black mark. You will see always positive, positive, positive every day. This improving. So before we die, you know, after that we want to meditate. As soon as you sit down, because you don't have black mark, also very easy. Your mind, as soon as you sit down, your mind already clear. So clear mind will help us to get concentration very easily. So that after clear, we don't have unwholesome thought. Very right? the one I want to focus on anapana. We think of breathing very fast. The breath very clear too. When the mind clear, the object very fast clear. Understand? If the mind got angry and desire, a lot of sleepy, lava dosa moha, moha, a kind of sleepy mind, okay? If we had that kind of mind, we yeah, want to think about Buddha also. We cannot see Buddha image. <laughs> oh, I want to do Buddha no I want to think about Buddha. Oh, just short time. You open your eyes and look at it. After that, when you close your eyes and you are sleepy, you don't see my Buddha image. Even Buddha image also lost. You don't, cannot concentrate. Why? I want to lose your mind. I don't want to think even about that image. Understand? So that's also. I want to send me down uh, to my set. Send me after that fall and sleep, you know? So if you don't send, you cannot send me down to yourself. Uh, that's dangerous. Understand? And also think about other family, you know, your family member. You think about the person. Only short time you see the image. Oh, start to send me that. She may be free from danger. Only one, two seconds after the loss again, the picture. You can't control it, the picture in your mind for a long time. And if you can't control your mind, if the picture in your mind, very difficult to send me that to the person, understand? So the middle feeling is not arise. That's why we still need to train, train. Training is very important. Every day we train to be happy, to train with positive. When you see people are better than you, we are happy. We must be happy. Oh, he's good. He had done good karma in the past, maybe. That's why he had good condition now. We must be happy. If you are happy, you got wholesome. And uh, jealous, uh, that way dangerous. Uh, and then because of jealousy, angry, unhappy, angry, insecure, many things will have happened to you. In the end, you get depression. Oh, my friend, very good. Why oh, I'm so, so unpleasant in my life? The condition is no good in my life. You get it? And if you don't know how to make it a balance and a positive, and the mind will drop, slowly drop in, drop in, and you don't have confidence in yourself. And you don't want to see with the kind of people in the end, you want to distance from your friend group who are successful. So you want to isolate, isolate, apparently you, will, you are not happy. So always try to think with angry, anger thought will arise to you slowly. That anger thought will be created, but every time you communicate with your family, also not happy, like to school easily, because you don't have confidence in yourself. If you have confidence, you have you are very brave, you don't, you don't mind about anything happen to you. You can face on that. If you don't have confidence, you will start to get scared. You don't want to associate with the kind of people. You will feel that, oh, I'm so low, why? And I'm not supposed to see them because of the level is different. You might have the thought that is dangerous. And that's why we have to prepare our mind with sympathetic joy. So metta, karuna, mudita, and upakai. 
Upaka equanimity is very important also. We really need that. So when you meditate, or you meditation also the same. When we meditate, the pain appears. We try to ignore. Don't concentrate too much on why I got this pain. Oh, my hand very painful. My leg very painful. How I should take it? How I should change too much? You, you care too much about it. And you don't know how to let go about that. And then we drop your concentration, not easy to get concentration. So try, sometimes try to ignore. So when meditate, meditate, oh, so many problems come in, family problems, so friend problems, business problems come in. You can't let go away. If you can't let go, no equanimity, you don't feel a peaceful mind. For the meditation, we really need to let go of many things in the background. We don't need to worry. And we have to let go, cut out all the attachment. And not easy also, we try not to think. Okay, cannot cut them up and don't think. Okay, one thing is my problem can. If you don't think that, slowly you get peaceful feeling and you don't feel about the, the thought about uh, what you thought about the family or yourself on this way. Then the mind clear. So equanimity will help us to get stable mind. Very stable, you know. When the mind is stable, I don't want to think many things. We think that now we are getting started to get old. And no, no, many things are not necessary, not supposed to think when we cut, 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 you know. So the mind is more blank, you know, blank. Uh, like younger time, many, many things want to do. Want to go this day, want to wear the pill, want to make this kind of thing, want to do uh, a lot of meetings. So want to be a successful, you have to try so much. You need a lot of energy to spend and use it. And to be successful, not easy. So one who is like oh, many things are not important. And like for us, simple is the simple I just shared. Like a non life, you no, know, we don't we don't need for the beauty. We don't need for the beautiful clothes. You know, we can wear now getting old worse. So we don't need so many things. So many many of the thoughts are not important. When all can cut and can cut slowly, slowly, we train like this. So you also the same. So after that we got, the more, if our mind is more important. A mind is you really want this, that, sure, you, 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 will, you will do it until successful. You will, what you want, you will try until you get it. There is a problem, that's why the Buddha encouraged that. Control our mind, not to think too much, not to contact too much for desire. So why we want this, uh, we have to work. We had one. We want to do it. the nature of our human. What we want, we like to get. It. We want to try and then we get it. It's a problem. So why we don't think we cut, cut, cut? Oh, not necessary. So we don't need for this. Then the time can save. You know, the energy can save. So where we want to focus. So because of the background is not many things falling to you, the mind really can focus on the meditation object, can really stay with the object 10 minutes, 20 minutes. Okay, after then 20 minutes, you get used to it with the meditation object. You start to get happy feeling with meditation object, then very fast you get concentration, you know. If many thought is attack, very difficult to get going. Although you stay the whole day sitting also, cannot be successful because of the mind is not clear, you know? So that's why we, uh, I want to encourage that. Not only just sitting meditation, we are meditating. Before position, no, 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 without sitting position also, our mind is still can meditate. And still can realize about this, uh, the Dharma or the Buddha teaching. That's why I want to encourage all of you from today or the Buddha day, how the Buddha has tried so hard in the past for us. We need to respect and uh, we really need to be grateful and thanks to him. That's why, and although we are busy and tired, I still want to encourage for all the, my Dharma friends, brother and sister, to share the Dharma that we still need to try you together. Um, uh, me and all of you, we can try to, to, to remind that every day, oh, we had to try not to get unwholesome. That is the main thing. Uh, we had to protect our mind to get wholesome every day, every day. And we will meditate more and more, we will come more and more attachment. In this way, this is meditation. And in this way, we train that slowly the mind will get clear and pure. We try our mind get clear and pure. After clearing of our mind, the meditation will be very easy, okay? So I want all of you to meditate every day at home, okay? So thank you very much. I'm very, very happy to see all of you. So we will see you very soon. And also welcome to all of you to our place. And uh, now the condition is getting better. 
So I want all of you to come to my place and our place to meditate. Well, one day, two days, for three, not enough for jhana, okay? <laughs> you need longer sitting, and many sitting for jhana. And also for the vipassana, you need one month retreat, two months retreat. That will be system. If you really love for your karma, and you really love for your future is good, you want that, we have to meditate. Don't forget about that, okay? At home also, please try to meditate every day, day and, day and night, you know, morning and evening. At least two sitting and you meditate. Sure, you are there slowly used to it, meditation sitting, and you love meditation sitting every day, you like to meditate. This is training. After the training, when you come to Myanmar or you come to the anywhere or meditation center, you don't feel suffering. Immediately you can meditate, many sitting without suffering, no? So because of your training. So please try to meditate, everybody, yeah? We also want to send metta to all of you, yeah? Sorry for a long talk. <laughs> so like a Buddha enlightened days, you know? So I want all of you to get enlightened. Tonight, okay. <laughs> Thank you very much for every, everybody. Thank you to all the organizers. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu.